is part 61 of ASP.NET MVC tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss named sections in layout files. Please watch parts 59 and 60 before proceeding. We'll be working with the same example that we started in part 59. Let's understand named sections with an example. But before we do that, we have to undo some of the changes that we have done in the previous session. Now notice that um, at the moment, this index view uses different layout file. That's because of the changes that we have done in the previous session. So let's undo them. So within the index view, we have specified this layout property. And notice that we have told it to use a different layout file, which is this one. Let's get rid of this property so that this view will use this layout file. So let's save it. Let's refresh this. Now it should use the other layout file. And similarly, when we, na we get to the create view, it's again using the different layout file. And that's because within the home controller, within this details, I mean, create action method, we have specified, you know, to use different layout file. And we don't want that to happen now. So let's get rid of that code from there. Let's pull the solution and let's refresh this view. So it should use the other layout file that we have. And now, when we navigate to details view, notice that it's actually using a partial view. We want that to now use the details, the non-partial details view that we have here. Okay, so look at the details method. At the moment, it's returning a partial view result. And the return type is partial view result, and it's returning a partial view. But instead, we want this action method to return action result and to return a view. And then we don't want to return a partial view. So let's get rid of that. And then let's rename this to details. All right, with all these changes, let's build the solution. And let's refresh this view. So now it should use the non-partial view. And that non-partial view should use the other layout file that we have. OK, now notice that when we navigate to you know, index, we see that employee list link there. Similarly, if I navigate to edit view again, I see the same link. Similarly, if I go to details, I see the same link. So this is the navigation menu that we have in our layout file. OK, now what we basically want to do is if I am on the edit menu, uh, I mean edit view, then we want this navigation menu to be changed to something like this. So since I'm in on edit view, we want list details and delete links there. Okay, so based on the view that I am on, I want to dynamically change the menu that we display to the user. Okay, and let's see how to achieve this using named sections. Obviously, there are several ways to do that. But let's see how to use named sections to achieve that. OK, so now the first thing that we have to do is we have to define the section on the edit view. So let's go to the edit view. And then to define a section with an edit view, we use at section. And then specify a name for that. So the section is going to be menu. OK, and then you can specify whatever you want in that section. Now, what do we want in the section? We want list details and delete uh, links. So just to speed things up, I have the code to generate those links. OK, so let's copy that and paste it right there. So if you look at this, that's straightforward code. So all I have here is three action links. So the first action link, you know, this is the name of the link. And it's going to invoke the index action. Index action method doesn't require any parameters, so we don't have to pass them. But then when I am on the details view or the delete view, so that's the text. And that's the action method which is going to be invoked. But if you have to display an employee details, then obviously you'll have to specify the ID of the employee. And where are we going to get the ID of the employee? Notice the model for this view. It's an employee object. So we are going to get the ID from that model object. OK, so using model.id. So we are passing the ID. And similarly, to delete an employee, you need to know the ID of the employee, which again, we are getting from the model object. OK, so now we have the section defined on this edit view. Now we have to tell where we want this section to be sh displayed in the layout. OK, so this section, so basically the header, the navigation menu, the footer, they are defined in the layout file. OK, so basically within the layout file, 
So we want to tell it where we want that section to be rendered. And to do that, we can actually use, so this is the TD which is displaying that employee list menu at the moment. So that's where we want the menu section to be rendered. So what I'm going to do here is instead of that, I'm going to say at render section. And then you can specify the name of the section that you want to render. OK, so now let's build a solution. And let's navigate to edit view. So let's say we want to go to edit view and then pass an employee ID of 1. So what should happen? Notice that when I go to the edit view, now whatever action links that we have defined are displayed here. Now let's see what happens when we go back to the index view. So when we actually click on this, it's going to go back to the index view. And notice that we get an error, section not defined menu. OK, so what are we saying in the layout view? In the layout view, we are saying we want a menu section to be you know, rendered here. But then within the index view, did we define a menu section? No, we didn't. We only defined it in the edit view. So when we navigate to the index view, it tries to load a menu section from the index view, but we haven't defined that it's a required section. So that's why we have this runtime exception. So how do we fix it? There are two ways, essentially. One way is to define that section in the index view. The other way is to obviously make that section optional. And how do we make a section optional? Very simple. You pass it as a um, second parameter, so bool required. It's a Boolean parameter. If you want that to be required, uh, which is true by default, you know you can pass true. Otherwise, you can simply pass false. So that's optional. The moment we do that, now if we go back and refresh this, so we are on the index view. So notice that nothing is displayed. Now I don't want this to be like this. Um, if you know a specific view has not defined that section, let's say by default I want to display the employee list link, then what we do, you can specify a default um, you know, content for that section within your layout file. And basically what we have to do is if you know if that section is defined in that view, then we want you know basically to use that section which is defined in that view. If not, then we want to use the default content that is specified in the layout file. So how do I, how do we know if a specific view has you know that section defined? Okay, there is a function if so. Obviously, this is C sharp code. So at if section is section defined. So we have that function and specify the name of the function uh, section. So if the menu section is defined then go ahead and render that section. Else, we want to have some default content. So what is that default content? We want to render an employee list link. And how do we do that? We can use HTML.action link, HTML helper. And then let's say we want the link name to be something like employee list. And we want to navigate to which action? Index, index action. It doesn't take any parameters, so we don't have to pass any parameters. OK, so let's build the solution and let's refresh this. So now I see the uh, employee list link there. Similarly, if I go to details view, we don't have menu section defined in details view. So we have the um, employee list link. On the other hand, if I go to the edit view, notice that the navigation menu is different because we have that menu section defined there. All right. So this is exactly the same piece of code that we have just written. On this slide, you can find resources for ASP.NET, C Sharp, and SQL Server interview questions. That's it for today. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.